deputy service officer is off the job tonight. Federal agents say he made online threats to kill police officers. Good evening, I'm Christina Rendon. And I'm Andre Sr. The police chief says he takes the allegations very seriously. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary is live at San Jose Police Headquarters with the tales in the investigation. Jesse. Dennis Shevchenko is suspended with pay pending the outcome of internal and criminal investigations into his actions. These allegations are extremely serious and are being fully investigated to determine the extent of any criminal conduct by our employee. Friday, San Jose Police Chief Anthony Mata revealing his department and federal agents are examining the actions of Dennis Shevchenko. The 40-year-old is a community service officer based at the department's training center in South San Jose. FBI officials say Shevchenko posted hateful material to the Gab social media site, advocating violence against police officers and members of rival political parties. No, we think it's a um, it's a serious trend uh, and a very disturbing trend that we've been noticing with a number of people who are involved in government service. In an email statement to Fox 2, agents say the FBI regularly works closely with local law enforcement to assess threats and pass information relevant to their jurisdiction. We cannot do our work in a vacuum. Interagency cooperation is paramount. San Jose Internal Affairs detectives searched Shevchenko's home October 14th, confiscating an assault weapon and a concealed knife and a concealed weapon at his locker inside the police substation. This incident is unfortunate and I am extremely disappointed that an employee in our organization may have harbored and spread these hateful messages. Chief Mata says background screening of would-be employees has been enhanced recently to scrutinize online activity. Those efforts have been enhanced since the passage of Assembly Bill 655, the Law Enforcement Accountability Reform Act. You start to lose that trust when you can't rely on the backgrounding of police officers. And you will have people patrolling our streets with a badge and a gun uh, that do not see uh, us uh, in the community as equals. San Jose police commanders say Shevchenko was not a sworn officer and didn't carry a weapon. Community service officers typically help police patrol crime scenes and write reports. Still, his arrest has shaken a department at a time when the law enforcement industry is under extreme scrutiny. I am committed to rooting out hate wherever it exists. Investigators are checking to see if Shevchenko has any connection to the violence outside the U.S. Capitol January 6th. Right now he faces weapons charges. He was arraigned on Tuesday. He is now out on bail. We're live outside San Jose Police Headquarters, Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you.